Hi, this is Chris Sherrill with Everyday VBA, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the runtime 424 error, the one that says the object is required. Well, what does that mean? Well, I've got my Visual Basic editor open, so I've called my module sub runtime 424. I've got a couple variables set up, and I've got each one of these is set up to error. Now, basically, what a 424 error is, is the Visual Basic is looking for an object to do something. So we're going to just step through this over here real quick. Let's actually move this up. Copy, copy that. Paste this here. Let's say I, I declare my range. I, RNG is a range. I set my range correctly, but I misspell RNG. Well, I'm going to get the runtime 424 error, which basically means I'm trying to select. The code knows what select is, and it knows how to select. But when it looks for the objects R R N G, it doesn't exist. So it's not an object, so it doesn't know how to select it. The same is true here. So if you move down to here, I've got application worksheet function dot sum, the range, everything's set up correctly. The only difference is, is application is misspelled. So if you were to come in here and you were going to go, I typically, just as a, a kind of a hint or a tip, I usually almost always will spell stuff in lowercase because I will know that if I get to uh, the next section, I have this IntelliSense that shows up. The other thing, the other reason I put everything in lowercase, I'm going to go RNG here, is when I hit enter, you'll notice that that lowercase a became a uppercase a. If we put that in here, we're going to get an issue. We actually need to pass this to a variable or we might get another error. Oh no, we didn't, we didn't get an error. We just didn't do anything with it. So, have an it, we don't have an error there. Here's here's one for worksheet. Our worksheet is actually not an object that you can copy. So we get that. We get the 424 error. It would need to be worksheets, and you probably have to define it as well. Workbook does not have a value. Again, if it was looking for a value from a range or a cell, etc., you're going to get the 428 error. And then if you misspelled sheet, you'd get the 424 error as well. It's pretty pretty simple fix. Um, pretty hard to find if you're not if you don't know specifically what you're looking for. Hope you hope this video helped, and I hope you enjoyed.